So the first question I want to ask, and um, to, to I, then start with Prina, I said, right. Prina, I, you've seen recent developments in AI and tech, and we know that the tech, the innovations itself are exponential. So in your opinion, the recent developments in AI technology that will have significant impact on other industries, uh, do you see like an overlap in other industries, and if so, which was going to be impacted the most? Interesting. I may take a step at it. Before that, maybe I'll ask the audience, which industry do you think would not have an impact on B. T industry. B, that's good. That's good. Four. It's a good side. There is AI in the name Chai. <laughs> All the industries would be impacted. We had a revolution, like internet going viral with AI. It's just the start. The evolution is the will continue, and every industry will be impacted. So, very very similar thoughts to what Prina mentioned. I think uh, the way that I see it is that uh, you know it's uh, it's it's uh, AI is not just a hype anymore. Uh, it's here to stay because the impact is very clearly seen as to how it's helping every industry, and uh, you know the way that it would work is that. Uh, and, and, you know, I'm, of course, going to talk about all of the developers who could make that happen. And uh, the way that I see it is that for any AI solution to come to, uh, you know, any audience or any industry, there's a huge role of developers because, um, you know, developers using AI solutions or building on top of AI solutions are going to impact their organizations who can make change to their solutions, to their customers. There was a very interesting uh, piece that I read which spoke about the fact that uh, automation was responsible for removing a lot of the manual effort that was done. So it impacted the bottom of the pyramid in terms of the work. And AI is impacting the top of the pyramid. It's challenging or enhancing our intellect and our intellectual capabilities, right? So a lot of the jobs that people thought would be impacted by technology are probably safe and it is the high intellect jobs that are probably going to be improved or challenged. You know, if I were to ask an organization leader, all right, how do you stop, uh, you know, an employee from injecting, uh, you know, an, an insecure core, mm. all right, what would they say? Oh, we have controls and checks. So very similarly, whatever be it, uh, you know, the, the audits or the security practices or the ethical practices applied to any other technology, is something should, which should be applied to AI as well. What do you think AI brings more from high perspective? More, what more opportunities, roles you see coming up in the, in the industry? I think, I mean, AI everywhere is what we're seeing now, right? There's more and more demand for uh, professionals that have an understanding of systems, tools, and processes that can enable enterprises to build you know, AI-based solutions. Uh, so I think it's a great opportunity for professionals to upskill or cross-skill themselves and first take advantage of the fantastic tools that are available today also to uh, just become better at and faster at what they do. So I, from a hiring perspective, I think the landscape looks very similar, right? A lot of AI yeah, with data science, a lot of the usual sort of stuff that has always existed, but a lot of also focus on your know, security-based uh, areas that are coming up for WordPress CM. Natural language is becoming the new universal programming language. Yes, it's in. I want to really emphasize that. Right? Uh, no, you know, developers have to really think about or worry about, uh, you know, do I do, uh, do I program in A language, B language, or C language? Not to speak. And that's good enough. You know? So, what it is really helping with is uh, it's, it's really making programming itself democratized. Yes. If you think about specific any uh, roles or beyond all of those boundaries, all right? Now, a, now a person who might not know how to, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, fluently speak English or any other language can program using their own native language. Yes. Or they can, you know, make sure they understand the code uh, properly in their own language or so, etc. Right. So it's really democratizing the way that developers, uh, students, organizations, or anyone is approaching programming itself. And I think this is this is going to start um, and open up a whole lot of opportunities and potential in, in ways that we would not have imagined, which will give a very large 
positive uh, impact and effect to the entire industry because it's unlocking creativity and mindsets of a whole lot more people uh, you know who might have who might have not programmed before or coded before but are getting started because now it's very very close to them in their own natural language i think we are bringing all of these technologies closer and really unionizing them because once you are a developer who understands the basic aspects of how programming works uh, you can use a part of ai to understand you know how various other technologies work uh, as as an example someone who is a systems and a web engineer can use uh, how uh, can learn more and use how infrastructure as code works or can learn a lot more about uh, you know how uh, iot and mqtt protocols work or can understand more about what are qubits and understand that with or understand you know how do you uh, get into all of the blockchain and everything else right so it's helping bring all of these technologies a lot more closer and kind of really unionizing them so recently in an uh, event uh, jetson new uh, nvidia ceo said students uh, no need to learn coding and all so what are your thoughts on that do you think it's worth uh, thank you think it's worth learning coding uh, like now especially for like a fifth grader i would say yes uh, the reason being you know the and i keep telling the story of folks that uh, uh, software engineering and development is is a lot more than just coding yeah uh, you know it's not just the code that you write but it's also uh, thinking about um, some of the other software aspects of it uh, software aspects of optimization software aspects of algorithms Right, all of those uh, skills, right? Uh, I think you know, of course, while my AI can help you with a whole lot of it, and uh, you know, a lot of natural language programming can come into it. I think it's uh, you know, it's still uh, important to understand, you know, the, the the fundamentals of how something works. So, right? I think uh, you know, where AI can really help create that impact is if everyone embraces AI. and makes it open and what i mean by that is thinking uh, you know a lot more broadly about uh, you know if you look at all of the stakeholders who would be that uh, all of us as developers embracing ai for the solutions that we build organizations and startups enabling their teams with ai uh, and governments also embracing ai making it a lot more open to the ecosystem to build all kinds of innovations on that academia embracing ai to make it more easier for uh, you know teaching for educators for students and everyone um, i think the key part is like once everyone truly embraces ai uh, that's where a whole lot of innovation can can start happening beautiful uh, thought is that you know if we all embrace ai and come together and collaborate uh, i think we we all can reach creative solutions like one car mentioned With that, I'm gonna pack the panel and make sure that we'll let's have a big round of applause for everybody for sharing with us.